So this is what the post processor looks like. Um, I'll go ahead and drop a cut point in there. And let's look at velocity. Now this is, yeah, the one millimeter example. Um, so the whole, the domain looks uh, blue because the flow rate is very slow with respect uh, to this tiny channel. Now here, um, you generally can't really see the, the the elements, which is which is a good sign. So you want to make sure that your your results are not having you know a, a huge material impact. I mean, here there's a tiny bit, but in the channel, um, it's not obvious. You know, um, on the on the inlet side of this guy, um, the contours look smooth and, and good, which is a great sign. Um, considering you know that one millimeter gap is is very very small, I would say uh, you know the mesh turned out quite well, and I can actually show it here. Um, so the feature refinement is is why um, this mesh right here is uh, is denser than the mesh out here. So when you do feature refinement, you specify um, the size of the element um, here, and you specify you basically it, it sweeps a radius. So you can see basically from the wall out to here, it's sweeping a, a distance where it's adding more mesh. And you can see those are my wall layers. I have, I think, five of them. And um, 